Whoopee made a whoopsie. First, first time. First time saying that and I got it. Just saying. Whoopi Goldberg wants Dr. Jill Biden to be a surgeon general. Okay, interesting. Until she learnt her PhD is in education. Whoopsie, whoopie did it, oopsie, whoopsie, whoopsie, whoopie did it, oopsie. Let's jump into it. So Whoopi Goldberg said Wednesday that she would like to see Dr. Jill Biden, which is obviously Joe Biden's wife, serve as Gen Surgeon General until she learned on live television that Biden's PhD was in education. So probably not going to make a very good surgeon then, would she? Goldberg made the comment during a conversation on the ABC's The View with guest John Carl uh, in response to co-host Joy Barhan's claim that she'd like to see a lot of the players in the Democratic primary take up positions in potential administration under former Vice President Joe Biden. Now, there's a lot of stuff to unpack from this video. We're going to talk about the Whoopi Goldberg whoopsie, but we're also going to loop back to the start of the video where there's something else they talk about, which I really, really want to talk about. But let's jump into it. Let's watch this video and let's see the whoopsie. The whoopies, whoopsies. Oh, it's never going to get old, that. It's never going to get old. Um... That's Biden. only his family. If Biden, people that yeah, <laughs> if, Biden, if Biden wins, I mean, as he, I would Look, love to see that cabinet filled with all of these wonderful, smart yeah. people that have been running. I mean, I mean, I mean, look, Bloomberg, I, wouldn't Bloomberg be a great one for Mnuchin's job? Treasury. Treasury Secretary. Treasury Secretary. Look, look I, I, I don't think there were any promises. I think that's that's a little ridiculous. But clearly, th these are going to be important people going forward. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, Pete Buttigieg. He had he the moment of maximum influence. He he used it. He supported. Mm -hmm. Yes. He supported that was Biden. Brilliant. Klobuchar is almost certainly. I, I certainly going to be on the short list for, mm -hmm. for vice president. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she'll ultimately be his running mate, but but yeah. but, but, but she'll be on that list. Yeah. I'm hoping yeah. Dr. Jill becomes the Surgeon <laughs> General. His wife, yeah, Joe, Biden. Joe Biden's wife, because she, you know, she he would never it. do it. But she, it, she, yeah, she's a hell of a doctor. She's an amazing doctor. I she's I a just doctor and like PhD. Yeah. yeah, I don't, I don't, oh, I, don't know. I could be wrong. I thought she was yeah, a I think she's, I don't know. she's, she's oh. a teacher, but you know, <laughs> might might be good for Betsy DeVos's <laughs> post. <laughs> yes, perfect. <laughs> She'll probably well, be the busiest first lady yeah, awesome. yeah, so if she wins. Yeah. yeah. Well, John, I tweeted last night. I was. Now, the important thing to take away from this is that Whoopi Goldberg was just spinning shit. Quite literally, caught out spinning shit on the ABC. This is this is the thing, right? They're talking heads. They don't know more than you or me. Me, me sitting in. My my third bedroom, my, my study here, doing these videos. I probably know more than these shrubs. That's how sad it is. They're, they're, they're marionettes. They're puppets, right? They're thunderbirds, you know? They're, there's no swings on me as their arms flail around, right? They don't know shit. They get told what to say by powers that be. Not obviously literally what to say, but you know what I mean. They get the talking points. And at the end of the day, that's all they are. They're figureheads. They're talking heads for the powers that be. And if you ever want proof of that, listen to this part again. Just listen to this part. <laughs> yes. Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, Joe, Joe Biden's wife, because she, you know, she he would it? never do it, but she, it, she, yeah, she's a hell of a doctor. She's an amazing doctor. She's a hell of a doctor. R really? She's a hell of a doctor, is she, Whoopi? Interesting. She has a PhD in education, so I don't know how she's a hell of a doctor. Now, look, at the end of the day, the people on the left will sit there and make excuses and say, oh, she just got her mixed up with somebody else or whatever it may be, right? But imagine if this was Trump. Imagine how the left would have carried on if this was Trump. Mainstream media would be running this story 24-7. Trump doesn't know who Jill Biden is. 
But because Whoopi Goldberg has the right politics and because she's obviously sitting there pushing the establishment narrative, they'll cover for her. Very few people will probably talk about this. You, if you want to know who's establishment and who's not, find out who talks about this. Who mentions this? Who on YouTube mentions this? That's, that's probably the best way to do it. But the other thing I want to talk about, and look, at the end of the day, we'll be doing a whoopsie, no real big thing, right? Let's watch this video again, because this is really important. Let's watch it again, and we'll break it down. But that's Biden, only his family if Biden, people Biden, that does that. Yeah, <laughs> if, Biden, if Biden wins, I mean, as he, I would look, love to uh, see that cabinet filled with all of these wonderful, smart yeah. people that have been running. I mean, I mean, I mean, look, look I... I what... First up, the very start of this video... It. He supported. Mm -hmm. Yes, he supported that was Biden. Brilliant. Klobuchar is almost certainly. I, I'm certainly going to be on the short. Oh, That's Biden. only his family. If Biden. That that. <laughs> yeah. If Biden, if Biden. Now I believe there. I'd have to be. I'd have to go back and have a look. But I believe there. She's having a dig at Trump. I believe they're having a dig at Trump because the Trump's son and and daughter and stuff like that get jobs in the White Office, right? That's what I believe. I'm not sure. I'd have to go to check. But if that's the case, oh, no, 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 Trump, no, no, Trump employing his family is, no, that's bad, no, that's bad, 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 bad. Meanwhile, hey, let's fill up the White House with, you know, the people that run the DNC, the Democratic National Committee. You know, the people that backed Joe Biden. Is there any difference between the two? Is there any difference between Trump putting... Well, uh, to be honest, I don't know if his son really... Trump Jr. really doesn't do anything much to do with the White House. Neither does his daughter, really. But, you know, say for argument's sake, they do. Say they do. And uh, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe they do. Is there any real difference between giving your friends and giving your family appointments? I, I don't care if Joe Biden goes through and gives these people appointments. I don't care. I don't care if they're, if they're good for the job. I, Michael Bloomberg, a head of finance, is... Yeah, maybe. But but anyway, but here's the thing, right? Let's keep going to this video. Biden wins. I mean, as he, I would Look, love to see that cabinet filled with all of these wonderful, smart yeah. people that have been running. I mean, I mean, I mean, look, Bloomberg, I, wouldn't Bloomberg be a great one for Mnuchin's job, for Treasury. instance? Treasury Secretary. Treasury Secretary. Look, look I, I, I don't think there were any promises. I think that's that's a little ridiculous. But clearly, th these are going to be important people going forward. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, Pete Buttigieg, he had he the moment of maximum influence. He he used it. He supported. Mm -hmm. Yes, he supported that was Biden. brilliant. Klobuchar is almost certainly. I, I, certainly going to be on the short list for, mm -hmm. for vice president. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she'll ultimately be his running mate, but, yeah. but, but, but she'll be on that list. Yeah. I'm now, at the end of the day, this is where the Bernie bros and whatnot actually might have a point. At the end of the day, the question is, is why did all these people, including Bloomberg now, drop out to support Mike Bo Mike, uh, Joe Biden? Mike Biden. Joe Biden. Why did they all drop out at the opportune time and they all say the same sort of thing. Why did they all drop out at the same time to endorse the same candidate? To be honest, I reckon the DNC was behind it. I really, really do. I really do think the DNC turned around and said to these guys, drop out, endorse Joe Biden, and we'll give you a job on the cabinet, uh, on the, on the, in the, in the cabinet. In the White House, whatever it may be, if Joe Biden wins. Bloomberg, you want to be in charge of finance? Drop out. We'll give you we'll give you a head of finances. You know? Amy, you wanna be a head of of teaching, whatever it may be. Education. We'll give that to you. Drop out. Endorse Joe Biden. I do believe that they they were met. They that they were they were they were uh, encouraged to do so. And they'll probably tell it, look, you're not going to win. And if you don't drop out and support Joe Biden, you're not going to get a seat. You're not going to get a seat in the cabinet. And then they've probably been told, you know, that, hey, look, you know, Joe Biden, he can't run. Or is he going to run for the two, two terms? Can he make it the two terms without dying? Or 
you know, forgetting what country he runs for. But anyway, but you know, and the Pope being told after that, look, you know, you're young. After Joe Biden's done, yeah, we'll give you a shot. You can run again. Do what Bernie's been doing. Run three or four times, whatever it may be. Run since the 70s. And that's what they've probably been promised. Yeah, we'll hit you up next time round. They probably won't, but anyway. But that's, I, I definitely do think they've been made a bet. And, and I think that the, the, the deal that they've all been made, or been asked to make, I bet you you'll find that these people will be put in, these people that endorse Joe Biden, will be put into positions within power of influence when it comes to if Joe Biden ever wins. If Joe Biden wins 2020, for some God knows unknown reason, I imagine the people that have endorsed him will be given positions of power like Hillary Clinton got Secretary of State. I reckon they're going to get it as well. They're going to get those positions. Bloomberg, probably go for finance. Um, Amy Kovachar, whatever her name is, will probably get education or something like that. Elizabeth Warren will probably get, well, nothing because she didn't endorse anybody. Uh, Pete Buttigieg will probably get Secretary of State or something. You know, they'll get these positions. But, like, Jesus Christ, it's literally going to be the swamp. All the swamp creatures literally running the White House and everything. God, it'd be bad. But guys, this is why you need to get out and vote. And this is why I keep saying every video. Get out and vote between now... When, you, when, you, when your vote's up, when your election's up, when it's up for... When Tom, Trump's up for election, get out and vote. Because at the end of the day, the, 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 the Democrats, they are going to turn up to vote. They want Trump out. They have failed on impeachment. They want him gone and they will turn up. And that's what they're going to do. They're going to turn up to vote him out. And if you don't, if you don't turn up, Trump's gone. He, he can't win unless people vote for him. But guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on the swamp talking heads here? Literally trying to advocate for all these people that, that go on through and give Biden a job um, to give him a job. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on Whoopi Goldberg and her whoopsie? To be honest, like I say, I, I'm not surprised that she did. But she doesn't know what she's talking about, obviously. You know, the, obviously at the end of the day, she she's just assumed that she's a doctor because she has a doctor in front of her name. Well, there's plenty of doctors in the world and they're not all, they're not all medical doctors. But let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. The video 3 coming up soon, guys. So obviously stay tuned for that. And apart from that, guys, we'll see you in the next Mind Size video. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon.